Well, joining us now is Hanadi Saeed, founder and CEO of the exciting Israeli startup Sensai. Sensai provides AI-based anomaly detection and root cause analysis, enabling real-time resolution of issues. Please explain that to us in layman's terms. Perfect. Thank you for having me. So just to give a little bit of context, um, maybe you and our viewers would remember about a year ago, a bit more, Facebook went down for six, seven hours because of cloud and data center issues, costing millions of dollars. Same thing a month later, AWS went down because of cloud issues. Uh, it was their third outage in a month. What we come to do is help cloud managers understand what's happening in their environment using artificial intelligence to be able to tell what's happening, why it's happening. In real time. In real time and what they can do about it. And all of this is automated without human intervention and without the need to jump between tools, teams, and people. Now you're in a fundraising phase of development of, of your startup, and I hear it's going very well. Is that accurate? Correct. We're doing uh, bridge financing with Exit Valley. When we decided to do this step, we did our homework and examined the alternatives on the market. We decided to go on uh, with Exit Valley. It took a couple of months of us doing due diligence on them, they doing due diligence on us, and we've decided to go ahead with this uh, successful campaign so far. On well, the how do you know when the process is going well enough? Are you reaching your goal or even exceeding your goal of raising funds to make this happen? Yes, thankfully we've reached our goal uh, about a month into the campaign and now we're um, exceeding our goal. We're more than 150% um, fundraising and we're continuing because we keep getting interest. But the exciting thing is uh, we didn't only get the attention of um, uh, potential investors, but also development partners who saw our campaign are, are reaching out for potential partnership with Sensei. But why is that? Did they have faith in your staff in particular or for past accomplishments? Why are the investors coming to you now? Um, I think it's because of three main reasons. First, our technology is tangible. The problem we are uh, solving is tangible. People understand cloud outages. They feel them, they survive them. And many of us are working since COVID, but even before that with um, online banking, learning from home, um, e-travel and so on. So we do understand the impact of cloud outages. So it's a tangible problem. And we sit on the intersection of both cloud, which is experiencing at least 20% growth year after year, and artificial intelligence, which is experiencing about 40% growth. So it's very exciting for investors to be on, on these two intersections, cloud and artificial intelligence. Second is the team. We're highly experienced people in high tech business, uh, both the full-time Sensei employees, the board and advisors are top tier. And also uh, we see that investors are attracted to the diversity that we provide in terms of gender, age, ethnical background and professional background. Um, so I think we can think of it as well, less attracting all of where does it. Go, where does it go from here? What are the next steps for Sensei? I mean, it, it, it sounds very exciting. So product-wise, we are currently doing uh, proof of concepts in the U.S. and we're looking to launch the product end of this year in North American market. Um, R&D-wise, we're working very hard on the prediction component of our tool, which will be available a year and a half after launch. And fundraising-wise, we're continuing with this uh, bridge fundraising campaign with Exit Valley and also doing a VC uh, roadshow as well. Just finally, let me ask you this out of curiosity. Uh, when you were a little girl, is this what you wanted to be? I mean, how did you come to this? Being an entrepreneur, uh, I never thought I would be here. But going back, I took entrepreneurship um, like um, after school program at the age of 13. And then I under, uh, studied entrepreneurship and my MBA. So I thought it was a hobby, but it ended up being a career for me. So. And now, and this is all going to take place in Israel. This, uh, this company will be completely run from Israel, or you have partners in other countries? We have partners in the North American market. R&D is currently only in Israel. And the partnership we have in the U.S. is for continued development and mainly go to market. Uh, what is the staff Currently, and what size staff do you see once you've become a fully developed post uh, high tech company? So, we are a lean startup currently located in the Haifa area. Um, we have staff in Israel and in neighboring countries as well. 
um, we're less than 10 people, and we're looking to grow to hundreds, if not thousands, hopefully in the near future. Well, I can only wish you best luck uh, and good luck to you. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for being with us.